Because you've got, you know, a number of caps for Scotland now. But you say that was that was better than all that experience life. Uh... What? Sorry? <laughs> I did I, I, I turn you up a wee bit, I didn't hear you. Turn. I don't know how to turn. Turn. There we go. 
Right, well, we're going to give you a little bit of a shot. This is all uncontrolled airspace, so there won't be much traffic. So we're going to start with a little bit of pitching, then a little bit of turning. All right, nothing, nothing too high. So two hands of the controls, put hands of the controls just now. I'll just follow me through, so I'll take control of it. Just pop your hands on the controls. Okay, so to pitch up, all we do is gentle back pressure, and you can see the nose rise. If we keep that, the nose is just keeping it rising, and our airspeed is going to bleed off. So when we hit 80 knots, push the wee bit forward. So about this, there and our airspeed will rise back to 80 knots. So that's generally what we climb at. To get back to normal, we push down, and then centre again, and that's us now flying straight and level. Okay, now you've got control. I just want you to pull back gently, very gently, and now push a wee bit forward there to stop. There you go, hold it there, about there. So that's us now in a bit of a climb. And now we need to get us back to straight and level. So just push forward, and hold it there, and straighten, and that's us now back to straight and level. As you've got control, just we need to turn a wee bit to the left, so just roll the controls slightly so I play reading the car, and when I tell you, I want you to bring them back to straight, so just bring them back to straight now. There, just hold that, because you can see, when you bring it back to straight, the plane is still turning, because all we've done is change the change the uh, the position of the aircraft around the normal, so if I, if I take it back, we roll left, if we keep it like that, we're just going to keep turning and turning and turning, so it's important that once we get our desired angle of bank, we then straighten. And then all that's going to do is it's just going to hold us in the turn. And then to get back round, it's to the right. And then straighten. That makes sense? Yep. Okay, give it a shot. Take the controls. So, gentle turn to the right. I'll worry about the speed and the altitude. Okay, stop there. So, you just hold that steady now. And we're going to keep turning right. Nice view down there to your right there. That's gorgeous, isn't it? And then roll us. Goes back to the left, so we're now pointing back over towards the, the coast uh, over there. So, yep, keep it coming to the left. How much? Yep, keep it coming. And then stop there, so yep, good. Push a wee bit forward, you see our nose is creeping up a wee bit. There we go, now send, pull back a wee bit. Send it, there we go, perfect, now just hold that. And that's just now in a nice turn. And then I want you to head directly to the crail, so it's directly to the corner, so back right. Very, very relaxed, very good. And there, uh, just hold us there. Excellent, so just keep us there, I'm just going to change the fuel. Fuel pump on, change the fuel. Fuel pump off. Like GTA, Ramaz. What? Like GTA. Just like GTA, mate. Any sweets going? Yeah, that's very good. Can always rely on Hamish to bring sweets. Me, Yankee, number Juliet, so no back with you requesting a basic service. You see the Fairmont Hotel down there? Yeah. Off your right. Keep an eye on him for me as well. That's the old course. Just off the top there. See uh, where the beach is? Yeah. You see the hotel? Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Block Lomond, just in the distance. Tom Brown, the navigational tip, 101. Hey, how many packs have you seen? Eight. How many have you had already? Jesus Christ. The camera knows. Okay. Roger then, Squawk 7402. How long have we been staying next to each other in changing rooms now, do you reckon? Four years? Yeah, four. What would you say is the best part about sitting next to me in the changing room? It makes me feel good about my rig, <laughs> seeing yours every day. Right, that's, that's a joke answer out of the way. <laughs> Tell you what my favourite thing about sitting next to you is. What? It's also body fat related. <laughs> um, Seeing you with a thermal on and your little belly hanging over your shorts generally picks me up whenever I'm in a bad mood. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I can help. Wait, is that your fourth pack? Are you having another pack? I can't find any more. Yesterday, and I was like 105.5. You like I'm supporting Rex Club today? Oh. Uh -huh. Very supporting Rex Club. Yeah. So the best thing about taking people up flying was obviously. You know, getting to share the experience is great, but actually having another set of eyes to look out for traffic, like the way you spotted that other plane. Because I was too busy trying on the radios, I wouldn't have seen that, but because you're looking out the window, it helps me massively. Can we take pictures? Yeah, I got six. Probably shouldn't be using my phone out there. Oh. It's absolutely fine. The only thing I would interfere with is finding your radios. 
Sorry, Michael. Uh, what do you think is more dangerous, taking off or landing? Landing. Why? Um, because there's more accidents when you land. I guess that's right to a certain extent. But actually, the biggest fear for pilots is actually losing an engine on takeoff because that's when the plane's at its heaviest. It's heaviest. You can't glide. That's it's heaviest, and it's like having to fight against the weight of the aircraft, fight against gravity to get off the ground. And if you lose an engine there, you're literally like pitching down and thinking, right, where's where's the nearest field? Whereas if you get an engine failure now, you look at all the fuels that are around, so yeah. you've literally got your pick. I mean, I reckon if the engine failed now, you know, a solid like 30, 40 percent chance of surviving it. Would you try and pick like a field obviously without any bumps in? Yeah. So the five things you look for are size, size, shape, slope, surface, and surroundings. Animals. What? No animals. No sheep. No animals. That's also a, a good point. Five radio is all probably off the Yankee and the uh, just north of Buckhaven. It's bound request there for the information to us. Quite cool. You must be quite proud to have your license, are you? Yeah. Awesome. We can just sort of hold it there while we come into land, it'd be pretty cool. No, maybe it's not on. Is that on? Mate, you're recording at 4K. <laughs> I think but it's in, I don't know what's happening. Are you doing like a time lapse, I think? 4K, high definition. Yeah, yeah, it's just coming to land now. Hey, don't worry about it, mate, it's fine. Okay. No, they say if you want a job done properly, do it yourself. Uh, okay, so hold on, brakes are off, undercar is down, make sure switch pops, secure fuel, fuel pump on. Flaps has required instruments, 985. Hatch on a secure car peak, close, closed. Uh, I'll be on your front. Yeah, the start from here. So, car peak goes on. Power to 1600. And two stages of flaps, limitation operation indication, limitation operation indication. We just sort of hold our altitude until we hit our 70 knots, and 70 knots is what we, what we descend at, so 70 knots, and we'll trim for that. So again, I can sort of just take my hands off the controls almost and let it do it for me. Golf Yankee India, joining base for runway 24 to land. Golf Yankee India, roger. At 700 feet, so we're going to be a wee bit high. I'm going to pull the power back, take the final stage of flaps a bit early. So because we're, we, we would normally come in a much straighter line, but we're not allowed to fly over the town of Glenn Office. So we have to come in a wee bit steeper. We're just getting blown about. Yeah, quite a steep approach. Car peak comes off, runway is clear, approach stable, permission is granted. So we just hide down the runway. Up the down. Up the down. Is it? Yeah. Or just when we touch down? Yeah. Maybe it wasn't clicked in. <laughs> <laughs>